I'm Tyler Bronski here with Braxton Davidson of the Florida Fire Frogs, single A affiliate for the Atlanta Braves here at Osceola County Stadium in Osceola, Florida. Braxton, big prospect coming out of TC Roberson. You played in the Perfect Game All American Classic and just was heavily recruited. What was the scouting uh, recruiting process like for you in high school? Just how many scouts came uh, to your games? Was it mainly like a mixture of pro and uh, college scouts? Would you say? Um, yeah, it was pretty much uh, early my early years, like freshman, sophomore years of high school. It was more you know college guys. Um, didn't really have many pro guys, but uh, when I got to like after I committed to North Carolina, going into my junior year, uh, a lot more pro guys started to come come by. My dad's a scout for the Red Sox, so okay, sure. kind of got the connection. So. Um, you know, just once I committed to North Carolina, they started coming, and then, you know, since then it was, you know, all pro scouts. Sure. Now, you were a first-round pick by the Atlanta Braves, but you also had a really good offer to go to UNC. Mm -hmm. Did you expect to go first round? And if you didn't go first round, do you think that would have made your decision to go play at UNC maybe easier? No, nah, I wanted to play pro ball <laughs> since, since I committed. I told the guys uh, over at Carolina, I was like, you know, I'm committed to you guys, but my goal is to play in the big leagues, uh, play pro ball. So um, I pretty much told them, and, you know, they were okay with it. Yeah. So it was pretty – pretty mutual you know I'm you know when I signed uh, you know, I got to talk to those guys so um, they understood because I mean it happens all the time in college sports so sure. awesome mm -hmm. now you got a younger brother Caden who's a mm -hmm. big fan of the Atlanta Braves I know your whole family's like a root for the Braves but he seems from what I heard seems like the biggest fan so yeah. how special is that for him to see maybe his older brother put on the the Braves logo every day and when you're at spring training he, being around the guys he probably idolizes and roots yeah. for uh, it's special man um my brother's been a Braves fan ever since he was born. Um, I think that comes from <laughs> the other side of the family, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, you know it was, it was special, man. He's you know he's a big ball player. He's really good. I think he'll end up being better than me, but um, uh, you know it was really special to share that moment with him and my family. And speaking of spring training, for you, you've been around spring training the last few years in Orlando. Really nice complex, I should say. Um, what's that like for you to be around the big league guys? And has there been any specific big league guys from over the years that you've maybe connected with well and interacted with? Um, it's been it's been awesome. Um, you know, really uh, being able to learn from those guys, get, being able to you know pick their brains and just see how they approach the game is really cool. Um, guys, I really really talked to a lot were uh, I think Marcakis, um Matt Tuiasopo, I mean, he's not like the biggest name, but you know, he's, he plays. He's got he's got years in the league, um, and then my hometown buddy Cameron Maven. You know, that's who, that's who I talk yeah. to all the time. Um, I call him, you know, every so often, every couple of weeks. He sends me bats, you know, whatever I need, he'll hook it up. So uh, he's been like a big bro, like a mentor to me yeah. the most. So that's I talk to Cam a lot just because he's cool with all those guys. So. Um, just having that connection, having that uh, relationship is really special. That's awesome. Now, being a minor league player, you kind of live an interesting lifestyle. When you come to this ballpark, you know, there's fans. They recognize you. They want autographs, pictures. Mm -hmm. But maybe step outside of the ballpark, um, you might not get recognized as much or at all. Is that kind of funny for you, the, the minor, league, minor league lifestyle, how it can be so different sometimes and uh, just mm -hmm. what it brings? Yeah, it's just different. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's different. I mean, that's all I can really yeah. say. It's, uh, you know, it's just like within, even in the big leagues, you could take Mike Trout and put him out in the regular in the streets, yeah. and people wouldn't recognize him. But if you took LeBron James or Tom Brady or guys that you yeah. know that are advertised a lot, um, people would know him and you know sure. would would recognize him. You know, like Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter's a guy that you would recognize. Yeah. Um, but like you can't take like the best player in baseball who's Mike Trout. You can't take him out in the middle of the street. And that's with the, like with us. You can't tell. Um, you can take the best player in minor league baseball and put him on the street, and nobody would recognize him. That's how that's how crazy the game is. Like baseball's not as advertised as it is, like football and basketball and all these other sports. But um, we get paid the most. You know, the highest contract in, in the big leagues, making thirty plus million dollars a year. And you know, I mean, it's a lot of money. And for those guys not to be recognized off in the regular streets, you know, it's kind of crazy. Um, but you know, baseball's doing a good job, and they're trying to advertise it with the Players Weekend, with um, playing at the Lily World Classic and all that stuff. So they're trying to they're trying to get better with it. But um, you know, still got a long way to go. Yeah. Let's talk this season for you a little bit. 27th season for the Florida Fire Frogs, their first season in the Florida State League. I know maybe this season hasn't been ideal for you guys as a team and maybe from a personal aspect as well. Uh, what are some, how would you sum up this 2017 season? Maybe some pros you can take from the season as well as some things to maybe improve on. Um, pros, uh, I mean, we, we've had a lot of moves. You know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to stay as a group, as a team, whenever you have a lot of guys moving sure. up and down, you know, not connected really. Um, cons is just, you know, we just haven't been able to put put streaks together. You know, you see teams have like 
10, 11, 12 game win streaks yeah. we ever had. I think our longest one this year has maybe been four or five, gotcha. give or take. But, um, you know, that's from a team standpoint. Personally, you know, I just got to do better. We didn't have a good year this year or last year. So, um, you know, really got to step it up and, you know, get back on my grind and, yeah. you know, learn from this season, you know, learn from the lows. I mean, it's been, it's been very up and down team wise and, you know, myself wise. So, but uh, just got to learn from it and move on. Gotcha. Well, final question for you, mm-hmm. Braxton. I know we mentioned earlier, we have a mutual friend in Justin Jackson who, yeah, played with the Braves organization. He's also from TC Roberson, and, uh, yeah, you guys, you know, known each other for a while now. Can you speak on the relationship you have with Justin, just some of the, the type of guy he is and some of the fun memories you guys have had? Man, that guy's a, that guy's a clown, bro. He loves <laughs> loves the spotlight, loves the camera. Um, shout out to my boy Justin if you watch this. You know, what's up? Love Ball you, bro. life. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dude, dude's man, he's an awesome guy. You know, he's, a, he's a, I heard he's a great teammate. He's even he's a, even a better person. Um, I can call him to do anything yeah. for me, do anything for anybody really. And uh, you know, I wish him the best in his video career. You know, with the vlogs and the uh, um, working with uh, court baseball and all sure. that. So um, I just wish him the best, man. And he's you know good people, man. Awesome, mm-hmm. Braxton. Thanks yeah, so much. No good luck the rest of the season. Sure, thank thank you. you.